The first time they sold, they went on offer for 18. They cancelled, relisted, they've now sold for the full 20. So, happy days. The one with the dent in it, it looks like it's been shot. Well, hello and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. Uh, we've been away for the weekend. We went down to the south coast to stay with my sister, catch up with her and the kids. It was really nice. And uh, now I'm back, back in a cold shed in Norfolk to pick orders because it's a Monday. Now it's been a, a while. I don't know how many weeks it's been since I picked some orders with you. So I thought we would. Uh, it's not been an incredible weekend. Um, I've got the laptop set up ready here. Uh, we've only got 19 orders going out for a total of £322.85. But it's not, not a disaster, but not amazing. Um, so I thought we'd pick a few bits and bobs. I probably won't do it all. There's, there's jewellery, there's round labels, the stuff you see in every picking video. I think we'll just pick some interesting stuff and have a chat. Does that sound like fun? If it does, get cosy and we'll begin. Actually, before we start on eBay, uh, we have one, only one Etsy sale going out today. And it's these here. These are, now without looking at the order, I think they are Costa Boda. Uh, little candlestick holders, a uh, pair of, and I think they went for 30 plus post. They're rather nice, little glass candlestick holders. And that is the only Etsy sale for the weekend. So let's pick and choose some interesting stuff. Oh, I know what I want to pick first. I'm very pleased with this sale. Well, yesterday on Sunday, we had an order come in and I thought, yes, finally shifted that. And then we had a message and we thought, no, don't cancel. And they did want to cancel, but <laughs> they wanted to cancel and reorder because they had forgotten to change the delivery address. And we said, okay, that's, that's fine, do that. So they canceled, I added one quantity back onto the listing that was still active and they rebought. And what they bought was, do you remember this? It's the Kath Kidston blind that, that is rather long. Uh, this was listed at 50 and that's what it sold for. Uh, we picked this up when we were visiting Carla down in uh, Bristol and I think it owed us, was it 350, 399, that sort of money. There was a it was an old Chad shop sticker on it, but I think I've taken it off. But yes, so £50. Now, that was, I think that included shipping, or did I add shipping on? Let's have a look. I think it was £50 all in, from what I remember. I can't even find it now. Yeah, £50, round figure. Now, that is going to be a bit of a fiddle to package, and it is extra long. Uh probably do it with parcel force maybe or UPS um, yeah but anyway happy that has gone for the full asking price excellent right next oh this is interesting this order um, is for some of the hero quest parts and pieces I think virtually all of it's gone I had a hero quest which was missing lots of the figures and um, I made the decision to part it out. And we've been selling it off in dribs and drabs. And we've just sold a lot of uh, doors and door stands. Um, let me show you if I can find it. Here. So see these little doors, there are open doors and there are closed doors. There's an open one. And um, Probably easier if I show you the picture from eBay. There you go, that lot. Uh, wasn't really much in it. A lot of people selling off spares, uh, these particular spares, quite common because you get a, a lot in the game. So if people are parting out those Hero Quest games, there's a lot of these to go around. So there's, they're all over eBay. Uh, I got 10 pounds for that little bundle. Um, yeah, very happy with that. We sold so much from that Hero Quest. We sold the box, we sold the board, we sold 
the instructions, the all of the bits and bobs, the dice, everything. Right, so those have gone out. We sold some jewellery. Um, oh, now, pewter tankards. Way back in the summer, I bought a little crate with, I think it was six pewter tankards in it, and a load of books about pewter and pewter tankards, etc. I sold the books pretty quick, and I think I got about 40 odd pounds back on the books. Took forever to get these things listed and then forgot to list this one, the one with the dent in it. It looks like it's been shot. Um, got this one listed before we went away. It sold over the weekend uh, on offer at 25. That's a, a little diddy one, a pint one. And this one that was on at 40, um, 40 I think plus post on that one, was it? No, maybe not, maybe not. Um, this one, we had an offer come in at, well, I sent out an offer at 35, they counted at 30, and I thought, yeah, it can go. I worked out earlier on that crate of random pewter tankards, etc., and the books, we've made a fraction under 200 pounds when you add in the last two. So yeah, I was happy to get them moving. So that has finished off all of the pewter stuff. Why do I take so long to list things? When in reality, once I get them on, they're just they're gone, right? It's only taken me a week or so to shift them all. Right, what else should we pick? I'm just gonna pick and choose a few. Oh, now, uh, last time I was pushing to clear things I wasn't listing, like these. I picked some of these vintage shoes off the shelf. Um, we have now shifted the red Clark's vintage shoes. Um, I think it was an offer we had in at 20 pounds. Was it 20? Uh, no, 19 pounds and a penny. Very odd price. Anyway, those have gone out the door. Happy with that. Happy to move one pair of the shoes. Uh, still need to deal with, how many is that? Eight more pairs. Not my favorite thing to deal with. Right, next, something a little bit different. I listed uh, a load of bunting. Here you go, oh, can you see? So there's, a couple of different sizes of bun bunting, you know, little triangles on string. Uh, bundled it all up because there's not a great deal of value in it, really. You can buy it new, super cheap. Um, but yeah, cloth, bunting, uh, sold as a lot and went on offer at £15. Happy to just move that. I do have another little set of bunting listed. This is Disney stuff. Snow White. Did that separately, not much value in it really but yeah shifted the first lot quick right we sold more candlestick holders or a pair no one that holds two a candlestick holder that holds two uh it says bohemian be, yes bohemian <laughs> honor crystal double candlestick holder glass Blah, blah, blah. Um, looks like it may have been a clearance item sold for nine pounds plus post. It's right here. This handsome beast, one of them. So we're doing well on the uh, glass candlestick holders today. Excellent. Now then, Kerrang! magazines. Uh, you may have seen in a, in a video that I got all the Kerrang! Mag magazines listed in little bundles. We sold a pair of My Chemical Romance covers and then they cancelled. We, where are they? Oh, down here. Um, on top. Can you see? So I uh, relisted them and they sold. And they sold for more because they were on at 20, so £10 each. The first time they sold, they went on offer for 18 they cancelled, relisted, they've now sold for the full 20. So happy days. Can't grumble at that. Um, we sold another bundle. 
Now, I tend to do them in bundles of, of bands, like those, that pair are my Chemical Romance. And then what I had left, I did two bundles of just random Kerrang! magazines. The second bundle of 10 have now gone. Not for a lot. Um, not Non-themed bundles don't go for much. That's a pound a magazine, 10 pounds, plus the post on top, 13.50 all in. But I'm happy with that, very happy. Uh, gets them gone. Um, what else have we got here? What shall we do? We've sold some Builder Bear. I mean, I know you've seen this before, but let's go and have a look. Uh, so another lot of every one. I have eight, um, see I want to say flavours. They're not flavours because you don't eat them. They are scents. So one peach, one rose, one uh, candy floss, one strawberry. Oh, oh, one of these is already out here. Coconut and a, oh, no, that's coconut. Right, okay, hold on. A birthday cake. And a what's this? Bubble gum. And finally, I'm get it out. Fiddly fiddly. Whatever that is. Pumpkin pie. So a lot of this. I have reduced the price of the big bundle now. And it's working. I think these are now on kind of a bit of a January push to clear some stock. 20 for the bundle those are on now uh, and we've sold a few at that price so that's picked up which is good um oh we've sold right okay interesting soup mugs now these are not the ones that have the recipe on the last time i sold a bundle of these it was the recipe ones and i think they went for more these if i show you one uh, uh, I believe these were a garage promotion back in the 70s. Was so it Shell Garages or something? And there's, I think this is a full set of six. I'll show you the picture. You can see there's six different designs here. Uh, now, I believe they're from the 70s, Shell promotion. There's um, Celery, for example. I let these go for 20 plus post. Um, they're heavy, so £7 to cover the career cost but yeah they they did not stick, they ooh, did not stick around i got them cheap enough for it to be worth bothering with i got them for a pound for the set at a yard sale so a pound into 20 plus post just about worth doing when you consider it's going to be one hell of a packaging job right six ceramic bowls um so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video. Shall I pick anything else? What have we got? Anything interesting? Oh, I've, okay, let's grab these while I see them. Um, I parted out some Kenwoods a while back. We sold um, the last bowl and lid set that I had um, back on whenever that was, before we went away Friday, I think. And now the very last Kenwood thing I've got Oh, no, it's not. I tell a lie. I have a belt. I broke one right down to its constituent parts and we have the, the drive belt from one left. But that's it now. Um, so the thing that's going out is this little bit on top that's just sat on there. It's not meant to be on there. That's a uh, like a, a lemon juicer thing. You know what I mean? Uh, this little thingy and that little thingy. Very little value, it's gone for a tenner. Whew, I just had to stop and blow my nose. Have I got a red nose now? Maybe a little bit. Whew. Anyway, there you go. Uh, that's all I'll pick for now. I need to, as always, get cracking and get all these bits shipped out. So, uh, yes. And then today I do want to get listing. Both Andrea and I are really going to be pushing the listing for the next few weeks. Um, we have tons and tons of this sort of stuff glass, ceramics, wooden homewares, vintage collectibles. Um, on Andrea's channel, there's a video where we were both 
going through Andrea's stock and working out. Well, sorting through it, finding out what we've got, unwrapping bags we hadn't looked in for like six months. And um, I have taken a load of stuff out. I'm gonna bring that in here and work on it. I might do a video soon, show you the stuff that I'm working on from Andrea's haul of goodies. Um, and then as we start working through that, this space that I've created in here, we will slowly fill up with the homewares um, and get it all shifted is the plan. And then as we come into the new season of yard sales and boot sales, etc., we will hopefully have reduced our backlog down to a sensible kind of level so we can go out and start filling up the car with stuff again. That's the vague plan we have. Um, because I have a lot of space in here now, which is good. Although, to be fair, I need to finish the job I was doing in here, which was to list all of mine. Um, oh, I've got somebody who's interested in that, who messaged me. Um, yes, happy to do a deal on that solder scene. Saves me messing around with it. Uh, I need to message you back. But you messaged on eBay, which makes it a little bit tricky because we have to do the sale on eBay now because that yeah it's complicated but yes uh yeah yes you can have it as sold as seen do your deal happy days but i need to sort that out yes anyway there we are uh if you are new here if you stumbled across this wally in a shed and you're thinking what is this all about well my name is nick and uh this is my shed full of stuff that i sell on the internet to earn a living. My wife does the same thing as well. She has a channel. Um, and on this channel, I talk about the ins and outs of buying and selling stuff on the internet. So if you'd like to subscribe, it's completely free. And uh, if you'd like to carry on watching, well, I'll share, I'll share the video I mentioned of myself and Andrea, my wife, sorting through her room full of stock in the house. See you later. Take care. Bye.